Good morning and welcome to another class of Pilates with TV. So today we're going to work into a figure four, starting on our tummies to work into back. So just as a little bit of a warm up, you're going to flex one foot on top of the opposite knee and bring that foot closer to the body. Sit up nice and tall, puff the chest out. Inhale, keep flexing that foot of the lifted leg. Hold it for four more. Three, two, one. Inhale. As you exhale, twist to the side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist in so that you got your thigh on the mat. Both hands are resting on the mat. Keeping the body, lower body, uh, twisted, upper body straight. Reach it forward. Release it down. Changing legs. Flexing the other foot. Onto the opposite knee. And pull it towards you. Try and get a little bit straighter. Pull up into the spine. Inhale. As you exhale, bringing the foot to the floor or the mat. Inhale, coming up, exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, coming up, release it down. Coming to lie on your tummy through a push-up. So to inhale, exhale, lowering yourself all the way to the ground. For the first one, you're going to take your one hand is going to clasp the elbow of the other. You're lying on your tummy, rolling the feet inward. So in Pilates, traditionally, we turn the toes out. But today, we're going to roll the center of the thighs inwards to work into inner thigh. Taking that arm in front of you, clasping the opposite elbow, your head is resting on the mat. You're going to lift only the upper body lift. So inhale, exhale, lift up and down. So just for the sake of the video that I can, that you can hear me, I'm going to keep my head lifted. But your head needs to be in line with the spine, so no tension into the neck. Inhale, exhale, lift for one, two, squeeze it up, three, exhale, four, five, six, seven, should be working into your mid to upper back, nine, ten, exhale, up, eleven, 12, 13, 14, inhale, exhale, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, release it down. If you're not so flexible in your back, that should be pretty hard. And I want you to feel the back working but not wearing your shoulders as earrings. Changing sides. Have a rest if you need to. Rolling all ten toes onto the mat. Head in line with the spine. You can either come all the way down or hover the hand. Inhale. Squeeze for one. Two. Exhale up for three. Exhale, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, nearly there, sixteen, exhale, seventeen. 18, 
19, 20, 21, release it down. So you can just rest or you can have your hands in line with the body. When you're ready to, you're going to take one foot, bend that knee. So I started with my left hand holding my right. But for the video purposes, I'm doing it the other way. So see which side you're going to start with. You're going to rest your forehead on your stacked hands. Your hips are, your one hip with the bent knee is going to lift a little. And that foot is behind the knee. And you're going to lift your whole leg up, but keep the knee down. So this knee doesn't lift. I just want this leg to lift. The center of the thigh is on the mat. All five toes facing the mat. Pull the abs in. Inhale. Rest the forehead and squeeze for one, two. Reaching all the way from the back to the toes or if you're flexing the foot to the heel, six, seven, so you should feel a working into mid, lower back, sorry, and the leg that's stretched, that whole leg should be working, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, pull those abs in, 18, square in the hips as much as you can, 19, 20, 21, release it down, stretch if you need to, changing side, all five toes, center the thigh on the mat, and squeeze for one, two, three, four, Five, six, rest in the upper body, seven, reaching all the way from the back to the toes or the heel, ten, inhale, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, inhale, exhale, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, release it down. If you want to stretch, you can stretch now in a child's pose. Otherwise, we're going to finish the set on the tummy. You're going to take that first hand and clasp that elbow as much as you can. Pull the shoulder blades down the spine. So the palms facing upwards of the straight arm, you're reaching. I'm already feeling a working into the straight arm side. Pull the shoulders down the spine, clasping that elbow. Squeeze only upper body for one, two. Reach the arm, three. Pull the shoulders down the spine. Exhale, four, five. Inhale. Six, seven. Now you're going to lift the whole body lifts for one, two, three. So that hand should be hovering off the back, but the bent elbow can stay on the back. Seven, exhale. Eight, nine, ten. The whole body lifts up, 11, inhale, 12, 13, 14, 15, almost there guys, 16, this is the last one, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21. Hold it up here. Pull the shoulders down the spine. Lift that arm. 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Release it down. If you need to, you're pushing back into child's pose. I'm just changing sides for now. So you're going to clasp the opposite elbow with the hand. Pull the shoulder down the spine. Lift up and down. The hands hovering off the back for two. Three. Squeeze it up for four. Five. Pull the shoulders down the spine. Six. Seven. Lifting the whole body. Eight. Or one. Nine. Inhale. Ten. Pull the shoulder down the spine. Eleven. Twelve. Squeeze it up. Thirteen. Inhale. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Shift your the whole back working. Seventeen. Eighteen. <coughs> Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Hold it up here. Pull the shoulders down. Lift up for one, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21. Release it down. Hands under the shoulders. Knees wide, toes touching. Push back into child's pose. Onto fingertips. And just doing some cat and cow. Or coming into your box shape. If you prefer. And doing some cat and cow. Rounding and arching. When you've stretched enough, we're going to come onto elbow. So you're on one side. On your elbow, you're going to take that bottom leg is straight and that top foot. The knee is bent and the foot is on the knee. You make sure you have a nice stacking from the shoulder. To the elbow inhale you can have this hand up or here lift in the bottom hip keep the knee on the mat squeeze it up for one two so you want to feel that bottom oblique is what we're working five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Maybe hold that knee off. Hold it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All the knees down. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Bring it down and change sides. We'll do the other side and then stretch. If you need a stretch before, then do your stretch. Inhale, taking the other foot down. The knees on the mat, lift up and squeeze. One, two, three, four. Pull the abs in. Five. Feel the bottom oblique working nicely. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Squeeze it up. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 
18, 19, 20, 21. Lift that knee off and squeeze. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm slipping a bit. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Bring it down. Come up. For me, best, cross-legged. That's not working for you. You can do a diamond shape. One hand onto the opposite knee and pull. Wow, that feels so good. Changing sides, inhale. <coughs> that really feels amazing when you're stretched enough you're gonna come la on your back so starting off we're gonna work into abs and then into butt so for the abs i want your hands behind the head tennis ball between the chest and the chin flexing the one foot onto the opposite knee you're gonna square your shoulders and lift up as much as you can so although this is an easy exercise you should still feel the working when you lift up ready inhale and squeeze up for one two if you don't feel it working lift the shoulders a little higher three exhale up four Six, seven, pull those abs in, eight, inhale, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, exhale, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Hold it up here and print the spine for one, two, three, four, five. A little higher, imprint the spine, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, keep the tennis ball, 19, 20, 21. Sink the knees to one side, so the foot comes to the floor, you're hovering that knee unless you're very flexible, square the shoulders, squeeze up and down, for two. This should be an amazing stretch, three, and then we work in those abs a little, four, Exhale, 10, 11, 
who does abs right in 12, 13. Keep squaring those shoulders. Who does abs in 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Release it down. So you can straighten the figure four, arms above the head, or just stretch it out. When you're ready to change your leg, flex in the other foot onto the opposite knee. Hands are behind the head. Open the chest, imprint the spine, and squeeze for one, two. Exhale up, three. Keep that chest and chin stay for the tennis ball between the chest and the chin. Five. So yes, it's burning. Six. Try push through it. Seven. Still get a little higher to push a little more. Ten. Exhale. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, imprint that spine, 19, 20, 21, hold it here, try as you can, imprint the spine, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Bring that foot to the floor and squeeze. So this is more your stretch and abs for two, three. Because of my tight hips, my foot doesn't touch. So maybe yours can. Six, seven. Eight. I'm still feeling abs. Nine. Square the shoulders. Ten. Exhale. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Exhale. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. 21. Change sides. Take it to the other side. Open the chest. Squeeze. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. working for you next one flexing the one foot onto the opposite knee hands are behind the head and we're gonna lift the head and shoulders so squeeze up or oh, stretch as long as you need to let's go when you're ready two keeping the tennis ball between the chest and the chin four i find this works my legs as well as abs Seven and lower abs. Eight. Nine. Exhale. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Now take that foot to the side. 
does not over the knee and squeeze for one, two, exhale, three, four, five, six, seven. Change legs if you need to have a break and squeeze one, two, whew, feel the burn, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That foot is on the inside and squeeze one, two, three, four, Seven and bring it down. Whoa, that was intense. Stretch it out. So for me, opening my elbows really out in my back stretches, or you can reach it out and then change that. That really gets in very nicely. The last one we're gonna do for abs. You can rest your head on a cushion, a, a block. Or you can have your hands behind your head. You're going to take that foot up again. The foot is on the inside of the knee. And you're going to squeeze up and down. So wherever you are, lift the head and shoulders. And squeeze for one, two. So it's a 45 degree, three, four. Or wherever you can to imprint that spine, five. Keep that imprint, six, and keep that knee pushing out as much as you can, seven. Now flex that foot onto the knee, one, two, three, four, forget where I'm going, five, six, seven, Take that foot to the inside again. Last set, seven, six, five. Remember to where you keep that imprint, so don't go so low if you can't. Three, pull those abs right in. Two, inhale, exhale up. One, release it down. And stretch it up. So that really, really burns the abs. So you will stretch your knee then. I've got one foot on top on that burning, burning side. Changing sides. First set, the foot is to the inside. Either the head's resting or lifting the head and shoulders and squeeze for one. Pull those abs in. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, flex the foot onto the knee, seven. So you should feel the legs working, the hip flexors. Six, other pointing or flexing. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring that foot to the inside again. One, two, seven to go. I mean, five to go. Three, four. So this is working a little lower into those abs. Five, six, seven. Release it all the way down. Stretch it up. The other foot on top for me now. It's going really good and deep. So, relaxing the foot on the mat now. Both feet, we're going to take that first foot up. Now to work into back. When you come up, you want to square the hips. 
So inhale, left side foot onto the knee, lift up, hold it up here, squeeze for one, two, relax the upper body, three, squeeze the back, four, square the hips, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, pull the abs in, 12, square the hips, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, just relax that upper body, 18, 19, 20, 21, squeeze it up here, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, pulse, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, hold it up here, relax those arms wherever it's comfortable, as high as you can, 2, 3, square the hips, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, changing sides, if you need to stretch, I find changing sides of stretch. See where you are, what you need. Tap tailbone, lift up, square the hips, squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, squeeze it up, 18, 19, 20, 21, hold it and pulse, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Hold it here a little higher. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Squeeze it up. 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. Release it down. For me, this is a great stretch. But do any stretch that you feel with. My feet are slightly wider than hip width. I'm hooking onto my toes. Or you can hold your ankles. And you really want to straighten those legs as much as you can. The last set we're going to do, if you find it too hard, put the foot on the knee. Otherwise, hover that foot off the knee, lift up, and squeeze for one, two, three, four, five, six, square the hips, seven, lift the back, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, squeeze that back, 18, 19, pull the abs in to protect the back, hold it up here, pulse, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, hold it up, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Release, change sides, the other the foot's on the knee or hovering next to, inhale, lift up and squeeze for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Hold it up here. Five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Release it down, come up. So just to stretch into the back, for me that's stretching. If it's not stretching for you, do something that's working and then we're just going to stretch the hamstrings straight on the one leg, flex the foot, other knee on top, so stack the knees, and then caterpillar the fingers forward. Open the front of the chest, don't round, and pull those abs in. Oh, it feels really good into the back, and that area that was just working. Take your left foot to the inside of the knee. Inhale, square the chest. Fold forward. So try and get the chest in line with the knee, the center of the chest. And fold forward. Flexing the toes towards you. So for me, the stretches, the outer hip, the, the hamstrings, and my back. If it's not working for you, do something that's better. Changing sides. Flexing the foot of the straight leg. Knee stacks, pull forward, open the front of the chest, inhale. And gently coming up, taking that foot to the inside of the knee, square the chest, flex the foot, fold forward. Pull those abs in, round into the lower belly, open the front of the chest. Coming up and then taking the soles of the feet together, fold forward and tuck your chin. That should stretch that whole spine, the whole area. Thank you for joining me in another class of Pilates with TZ. I will see you next section. Session, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.